what is going on everyone I am back with another video and so today I am going to be doing a little bit of a news well not a little bit like we have a ton of news to share to you guys about the Lego Ninjago movie set now pretty much it was from like this um, the information came from BZ power which you can follow him on Twitter using this at BZ at BZB P you know last tweets and that's when you know they ask questions the questions were absolutely great and pretty much we'll learn and we get to learn the actual truth about the sets now I got all these images from Ninjago Bros so subscribe to him and give him ton of support because he as he's right now at mm, eight something subs and like you know get them up to like so much and so pretty much yeah let's just continue all right so Windblade asked hey how are the prices for the Ninjago movie sets what is saying and also is Lord Garmadon shark met a set so he asked so he said so you know said the prices were in the normal Lego range there is no shark set so Garmadon, Garmadon's vehicle for the set, and, and, and Garmadon's own, you know, vehicle, like that shark set, is not gonna, like, really gonna be, like, as a set. Even though it's shown in a movie, it's not gonna be in this, in, like, in the, like, yeah, it's not gonna be a set. So, Outlaw Films asked, is Garmadon's shark a set, and is it as cool in the trailer? Oh yeah, same thing. No sharks in this play, unfortunately. So going on shark is not a set. So you know, fans of everything acts. Thank you for that intel. And also, was my random sets without all the cool stuff from the trailer? Oh my fault. Thank you for that intel. And also, was any random sets without all the cool stuff from the trailer? And he replied, yes. There were some sets that did not appear all in the trailer. So some sets were not in the trailer. Some sets were. Like, yeah. So pretty much, yeah. So, so Dylan the Green Ninja asks more. Is there a Ninja Dojo training area other than the Destiny Bounty, Kai Mech, or Zane's Tank, city buildings, or parts of? And he says, yes, yes, a little, but not much. So, there is going to be, like, some kind of dojo. There is going to be, like, you know, Kai's mech or Zane's mech, but not much of the city buildings. Next up from Jay Gordon, was the Lego Ninjago movie Jay's vehicle there? And then that's when he replied, not the same one as the trailer, but he does have one. So he has a vehicle, but it's not going to look the same as from the move from the trailer. So I'm thinking that he's not going to. So I think that later on, he's going to have that vehicle or he just won't have that vehicle. But he will have a vehicle either way. He will. So Scarf asks my Scarf Bricks asks, I know you have been asked many questions, but do T. Oh, the Lego Ninjago movie sounds um, the sets look good and so what themes quality would you compare it to I thought they looked good I thought they looked high quality on pair with the best in Jago sets of the past so technically they looked pretty good so for CN Phillips what were the villains like in the Lego in the Lego Ninjago mobile sets and they were mostly sailor fish theme so pretty much it's the whole theme is going to be about like f sailors and fishes stuff like that and as when Ezork asks hey you said that the vehicle did not match the trailer but where were they as big as the ones in the trailer and that's when he said no the vehicles are much more reasonably sized so they're just the exact same size as any other set so was Kai's mech and Cole's mech there? So Kai's mech was there. Cole has a mech, but it's not like the exact same mech as it was in the trailer. So I'm thinking that either Cole vehicle, Cole and J vehicle will look the same. You know, uh, either it, the Cole and J vehicle for the sets will not be in the movie, or they'll like 
transform it into like, you know, I don't know how to explain it in words, but just know those vehicles that Cole and Jay have for the trailer aren't the same as the one in the movie. I mean, in, not the same as the one in the sets. They're not the same. But they probably might do something like later on during the movie to make it look like the vehicle. And that's when Mofire um, asked, wait, Kai's mech is exactly as it seems in the trailer, right? Because it is, then it may be too expensive. But not exactly. It's scaled down as, I mean, scaled down a bunch. So that means Kai's mech might not be expensive as you guys think. So it might not be that expensive. So y'all might actually get that mech. Then Windblade asks, LOL, I was I was totally worried. Will Jay have his own set with his vehicle? And is Lloyd's Dragon a big set or a $50 set? Then Windblade 11. I mean, that's when, you know, he asks. Jay does have a set in his vehicle. Lloyd's Dragon is pretty decent. Probably $60 to $70. So, pretty much Lloyd's vehicle is, like, Lloyd's Dragon is gonna be, like, expensive-er than the Lloyd's energy dragon we had during the show so pretty much that dragon for the Ninjago movie is gonna be way expensive than the other one I kind of see why because that dragon looks way better than Lloyd's um dragon in the show that looks way better y'all guys can't lie it does look way better then last but not least from Italian the Green Ninja are more are there more enemies in the Ninjago movie sets than just the Incredible Army and that's when he asked, and that's when he said, most of the enemies I saw were Sailor and Fish theme. So pretty much the the enemies from Ninjago from the show won't be in the movie. Like Pythor or Samokai or Cryptor or like, you know, any other, like, or the twins, like, you know. They're not going to be in the movie. They're not. They're definitely not. It's mostly just going to be about Garmadon and some Fish and Sailors, like, you know. So pretty much, yeah, that is pretty much it about the, you know, about the information about the Lego Ninjago movie sets. So there'll be more information if you please come like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.